Hello again, I'm John Terzak, and this lesson is about making fresh salmon dumplings. I'm going to start out by using a pound of fresh salmon, and we're going to cut it up in fairly small pieces, and it's going in the food processor with some egg whites and cream and a little bit of salt, white pepper, and nutmeg. And we're going to start out by putting the two egg whites in it. And we're going to put a little bit of salt. We're going to season this mousse that we're making uh, after it's done too and a little bit of nutmeg being careful not to over nutmeg this okay we're going to be adding the cream slowly to this over a period of about 30 30 seconds to a minute So first it's semi-pureed. Then we're gonna scrape the sides and make sure we're getting all the fish in there. I'm adding a total of a cup and a half of this heavy cream. Scrape this down one more time. Now I put the cream and the mixing bowl and the blade in the freezer and the salmon so that it would be really cold before I started. It makes the emulsion of the cream and the egg white and the salmon much more effective that way. Tiny bit more. Okay, that is raw salmon mousse. I have another video for you of this mousse that um, has a little bit more cream in it than this one. If you want it lighter, you add more cream to it. Now we're going to strain this through a cheesecloth because we want to get all of the little parts out of this so that our dumplings are nice and smooth when it's all said and done. In a semi-pureed item is strained through cheesecloth the way that I'm about to do this. And I'm wearing gloves of course so that I don't get this goo gop all over my hands in the process. So now we're going to twist this up so it's tight and it's going to come right through. There you go. And see, inside here is all that clogged excess fish, etc., which is going in the garbage with those gloves. Okay. Now, let's just taste this mousse quickly before we start poaching the dumplings. This needs a pinch more salt and a pinch more pepper. Now I have some boiling salt and water on the stove and we are going to 
use a nice ice cream scoop and we're going to scoop it into the water. So we're taking raw mousse and making it cooked mousse. This water is barely simmering. This is not something you want to do quickly. I'm going to make about a half a dozen here for you. Now you can do this step uh, prior uh, to serving the salmon uh, dumplings by after they're poached and you will see because I will show you with these dumplings right here that you can take some of them out of this and put it directly into some ice water then you can store them in the fridge and you can reheat them quickly when you want to serve them. So we're going to fast forward this for about five minutes. I'm going to turn them around in the water a little bit to make sure they're getting cooked evenly and then we're going to test one of them on the cutting board to make sure it's completely cooked before we pull them out. So I'll be back in about five minutes. Okay, the dumplings have been poaching about five minutes and they're done. We're going to take one out quickly and we're going to cut it in half and get a close-up on this so you can see what the level of doneness is. Look at the texture on this dumpling. See how it bounces? This is a poached salmon mousse dumpling. Okay, so here's what I decided to do. Uh, besides take a couple out and put them in ice water, which is just done like so. You could let them get cold and of course take them out of the ice water when you want to store them, okay? So here's what I decided to do. To put a little quick appetizer together here that consists of a little bit of broccoli coulis, which I have a video for you of. One of these dumplings, now if you do pre-make the dumplings, you can just drop them into some warm water to heat them up. So let's put one dumpling on there. And my thinking was to put a little bit of mushroom and onion, I mean mushroom and bacon around this. And who says you can't eat bacon with fish? I've been doing it for years and serving it that way. People love it. I'm trying to show you what I consider to be an ample appetizer portion. And then I have a little bit of lemon beer blanc sauce here. And I have a little bit of smoked salmon and some salmon caviar. So let's, just for fun, this, of course, is an optional addition and how you actually put it on the plate and, and use it would be up to you. But it's just kind of like a salmon trilogy here by the time we end up with the salmon caviar on it, which is where we're going right now. So let's put a little bit of this fresh roe on here for garnish, like so. And let's put a little bit of citrus butter sauce around on some of this. So you've got that broccoli coulis as a nice flavoring agent underneath all this. Let's see if we can get away with some of this on top of there. Yes, we can. And we'll put a little chopped parsley on this dish. And that's it. It looks simple, and so you have to be a little bit organized. And of course, I made the broccoli coulis in advance. But you saw how long it took to make the mousse. So there you have it. This is one special appetizer with three different kinds of salmon served together on a salmon dumpling.